Hello Gillsborough and welcome to our final celebration worship assembly of this half term, our spring first half term. The candle is lit to show that Jesus is the light of the world and God is all around us. Well we've had a really busy week because on Tuesday it was our Safer Internet Day 2021 and you did lots of activities that looked at how we can keep ourselves safe online. And I know that Mrs. Holcomb did a live assembly. Now I am going to go now to Mrs. Holcomb, who is going to talk to you about that live assembly and just remind you of those very, very important things to keep yourselves and others safe online. Thank you, Mrs. Shilliam, and welcome everybody to this section of the Friday Assembly. So the theme is an internet we trust. I'd like to thank everybody from Key Stage 2 who joined me for our very first Zoom Assembly. Um, and I also know that reception year one and year two, you had your own activities to complete too on the day. So well done to everybody who took part. Um, this For this assembly, there are just a few tips I'd like to share with you. And the first one are the smart rules. Now, I know they're displayed in the classroom at school, but I also would like to remind you and share them with your grown-ups. So smart S stands for stay safe. Don't give out your personal information to anybody online. M, don't meet up. You should never, ever meet up with anybody who's asked you to. And if they do, you do have to tell a grown-up. You always check with an adult you trust. A, accepting files. Do not accept emails, files, pictures or texts from people you don't know because that could cause you some problems. It could give you a, it could give your computer or your phone or your tablet a virus. It could, it could be something that's quite upsetting. So you just don't accept any random files. Ah, reliable. Is the information reliable? Now, my assembly on Tuesday was all about, hmm, can I trust it? or can I check it? And um, so this is what reliable is. Is the person or the website telling the truth? T is for tell someone. You should always tell an adult if someone or something makes you feel worried or uncomfortable. And then this year they've added a little something. It says, be smart with a heart. And that's because they're saying, remember to always be smart with a heart by being kind and respectful to others online. Make the internet a better place by helping friends if they are worried or upset by anything that happens online. So be heart smart. The other section I'd like to talk to you about is our school website. I'm going to show you how to access the online safety section of our school website. So on the home page of the website, you need to go to safeguarding and scroll down to online safety. And here you will find lots of useful information. The top section is for grown-ups, so parents and carers, you will find some very useful information on there. And for you children, it's the second part of the page where there's loads of images. And if you click on them, you will it will take you to a website full of activities. I also added some useful website at the bottom. Now, one more section. This one is for parents. Netaware.org.uk is an amazing website. You can write any apps, games, and your social media site that you're not sure of, and it will give you a safety rating. It will give you an age rating. It will tell you what exactly it consists of. Is it um, to connect? Is it to create something? Is it to play? It's an amazing website. I recommend everybody goes on netaware.org.uk to check. So if your child wants to play a new game you're not sure of, netaware.org.uk will have the answers. So please do check Netaware. And I've already added on our school website some hyperlinks and some parental guides for you to download um, that I've taken from Netaware. The last thing I'd like everybody to do is to remember to have fun because the internet is a wonderful place. Online learning is amazing to play games and to stay in touch with our friends and family. So please remember to be safe and to have fun. Over to you, Mrs. Shelley. Thank you, Mrs. Holcomb. Some very important things for us all to remember. Now, one of my favourite times, we're going to have a look at all the work that you have been doing this week. And it includes our snow days at school and also our Safer Internet Day. So look out to see if you can see your work 
or the things that you have been doing. Well done, children. We're really, really proud of you. super work from dragon machines to counting to doing lots and lots of activities I am really really proud of you and I love looking at the things you are doing we're going to go to the story now 
our Bible story this week is called The Kind Soldier. It's very important to be kind. We've also got to remember to be kind to ourselves during this pandemic. So listen very carefully to the story. It's from the New Testament and it's about the wonderful things that Jesus does. The Kind Soldier. The soldier was very upset. One of his servants was ill, so ill, not even the doctor could help. The soldier was very upset, but what could he do? Excuse me, sir, said one of his men. Have you heard about Jesus? They say he can cure all kinds of illness. Then I must find him at once, the soldier said. There's no time to lose. The soldier hurried off. He found Jesus with a crowd of people around him. My servant has a bad pain, the soldier said to Jesus. He is so ill, not even the doctor can help him. I can help him, Jesus said. I'll come home with you now and make him better. Please don't go to all that trouble. I don't deserve it, the soldier replied. Just say the word. When I give an order, my men all do as I say. So I know my servant will get well if you just say the word. He was so sure that Jesus could make his servant better. Jesus was very surprised. He had never met anyone quite as sure as this Roman soldier. You can go home now, Jesus said to him. You will find your servant well again because you were so sure I could make him better. So the soldier went home and found his servant well again, just as Jesus had said. I hope you enjoyed that story. It's now time for our reflection. I want you to listen very carefully to this prayer because it's about not just ourselves, but it's about the whole world and our nations. So if you'd like to make this your prayer, then say Amen at the end. Lord God, we pray for all the people of the world, sharing our common experiences and being human together. Like a line of paper chain people, we all matter to each other and are all linked together. Help us to care for each other and to know that each one of us matters, from the oldest to the tiniest baby. We pray for the nations of the world. Please, Lord, Give them your wisdom and courage to care for their people. Bless all who work to bring food to those who hunger, to provide water to those who thirst, to secure peace and justice to those in conflict. Help us, Lord, to share your wonderful world together. Amen. Okay, we're coming to the end of our assembly and the end of our half term. So have a wonderful half term next week. Do lots of exciting things. There won't be any online learning, but it's time for you to reflect on what you've been doing and spend time with your family and also outside and about and, and try and do as much as we can possible in this pandemic. I'd like to say God bless to everybody. I'd like to thank you all. I'd like to thank the pupils. I'd like to thank the parents. And most of all, I'd like to thank our wonderful, wonderful team, Gillsborough staff. God bless everybody. Have a brilliant weekend and please stay safe. The Lord be with you. Okay, I'm going to hand over to Reverend Nat now, who's going to certain... Our God is a great big God. If you're at home, sing and join in with the actions. If you're at school, join in with the actions. Take care, everybody, and I will see you all very, very soon. Have a wonderful half-term break. So we need to find some space if you're at home to do our action song. And if you're in school, remember, no singing the words, but we can certainly join in using our bodies and dancing. So let's sing, Our God is a Great Big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands.
Yeah.